right, I'm ready. Human beings are not born once and for all on the day their mothers give birth to them, but life obliges them over and over again to give birth to themselves. Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I was first born May 1st, 1989 in Jackson, Wyoming. The daughter of naturalist photographers, my sister and I spent much of our youth immersed in the natural world surrounding Yellowstone at our home in Silvergate, Montana. There's a classic family story about me playing with my Barbies in the woods while my dad photographed a black bear with cubs that was nearby. I attended a one-room school through eighth grade. This would ill-prepare me for the brutality of high school, but in time, I would see the beauty of my upbringing. I got to be the lead in many of our holiday school plays, which were the main event of the year for the small community. Here I am as Cindy Lou Who, and here is one of my earliest artworks. Following a year off to work, I decided to go to college, starting at Northwest Community College and ending at Western Oregon University with my BFA in painting, where I would finally make my first friends ever. I was able to express the loneliness I'd been through in high school throughout my artwork. In 2013, I returned to Silvergate, starting an unexpected career in the museum industry. I was director of the Cook City Montana Museum during its opening year. Everything about museums I learned on the job. My background as an artist helped me with the exhibits, and I even got to auction still life paintings there. Returning home allowed me time to appreciate my natural surroundings. I spent my free time in the Beartooth, painting the beautiful landscape in solitude. During this time, my business, Studio 308, was born, the number referring to the art studio room number I'd had in college. Nature would be my inspiration. I continued my museum career as curator of the Gallatin History Museum here in Bozeman. Over nearly five years, I updated every exhibit in the building which had once been the county jail. Again, my art background was helpful. I enjoyed sharing my unique perspective of exhibit design with museum studies interns. I became enamored with the history of the jail and its inmates and began to write their stories. This past summer, my fourth book, Wicked Bozeman, was released. But by far my favorite book I've written is the story of Seth Danner, who was executed in the building when found guilty of double murder and which will be a presentation in the future PK, I hope. A late bloomer, my first kiss was at age 28 in the parking lot of the Gallatin History Museum. That parking lot became the beginning point of many dates. My first relationship is still the sweetest memory for me, although in the end, a difficult breakup led me to therapy and the biggest transformation of my life. During my first year of therapy in 2021, I was diagnosed with depression and discovered I've been struggling with it since high school. Rock bottom for me was never wanting to end my life, but simply hoping that I wouldn't wake up in the morning. I began a journey to find medication and self-care routines that worked for me. I picked up a weaving loom that fall, and for the first time, started to understand the concept of art therapy and its ability to give me presence in the moment. I began also to see the colors of nature's seasons to process and absorb them into my soul and into my work. This piece was created with my own hand-spun yarn and dyed wool. While at the museum, I launched an embroidered history project with our local community. I found I love the calm of drawing with thread and have since started teaching others as well. I now sell do-it-yourself kits and embroidered earrings inspired by the natural world around us. I also ex enjoy exploring the same scene in different media. Since fall of 2020, I have taken a 15-mile round-trip hike from my front door along the Painted Hills to the Triple Tree Summit. I'm hoping to do that in the next few weeks for 2022, but I may need snowshoes. Um, it's a celebration of the journey my life has been on these last few years. This painting is from my favorite spot. Spring of this year, I left a toxic work environment at the Gallatin History Museum to pursue a career as an artist. I also work part-time at Cafe M on Main, where I have learned a valuable lesson. For me, it's less about the work and more about the team that you do it with. The job also gives me social time away from my solitary art career. Recently, my therapist recommended that I consider my biggest aspirations and push the ceiling of what I believe is possible for myself. She said I'd know where my, call, where my ceiling was when I would think of something and my mind would say, dream on. So here goes. 
I'd like to share two dreams with you tonight. One dream is to bring my book on the execution of Seth Danner to life as a film or play. Set in 1920s Montana, the story features humor, love, and tragedy. In my research on the case, I believe there is doubt as to his guilt, making the story a compelling backdrop in which to explore the justice system. Another is to create a book that explores the seasons of life through the seasons of nature by creating reflective art that is in harmony with those seasons. Each section will include projects that use colors, natural materials, and visual elements that help one to process their emotions in line with the Earth's natural cycles. I currently teach locally, both private and at Biome, where I get to see others light up through their own creativity. It is this experience that drives the vision of my book. I have hopes of teaming with a therapist to provide well-rounded workshops for people wanting to explore themselves through art and their inner creativity in the natural world. I love exhibiting my work about town locally, from my roots growing up in Silvergate to all the places I have been, immersing myself in the landscape and sharing that sense of place is important to me, whether it's expressed through my paintings, fiber artworks, or works of wearable art like earrings. So here I am, your local artist barista with a weird knowledge of local crime, waiting for my next rebirth. Depression looks different in everyone. Check up on those around you. Depression can't be whisked away by being positive or grateful or medication alone, but it can be lightened by being accepting of the soul's struggle and finding our own ways of seeing in the dark. Thank you. <laughs>